Good morning, brothers and sisters. So yesterday I was listening to a video by Justin Peters, and he was speaking about how the chapters and verses in the Bible were not inspired. And obviously I'd have to agree with that because they were added uh, added in later. And what a lot of people don't realize is that the chapters and verses in the Bible are simply there for our convenience and as a reference point, um, obviously to be able to find the scriptures that we need and to reference certain scriptures. Um, The reason I'm bringing this topic up today is because it kind of jogged my memory and made me think about all the different ways that people are using chapter and verse to try to find some sort of uh, numerology or meaning uh, into things uh, such as prophecy. Um, and so if we think about all the different videos that have been made based on chapter and verse, uh, whether it's John 3:16 or uh, chapter 7 verse 17, those types of things where they look for actual meaning in the chapter and verse rather than the context of scripture, Uh, I I think it completely deviates from the meaning and context of Scripture. Um, Just try, you know, reading a chapter all at once without looking at any headings or looking at any chapter and verses and just read it as as if it's one uh, one giant narrative. And Scripture really takes on a brand new meaning and it really gives weight to the message that the authors of scripture through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit were trying to communicate. Um, There's a lot of people that are guilty of this. And I don't think a lot of people are using discernment or even um, testing these types of teachings uh, regarding using numerology and hidden meanings in the Bible using chapter and verses. So just something I was thinking about as I was listening to Justin Peters and uh, how people like to use those things to validate their theories and their dates and their conclusions. We have gone so far away from true biblical teaching, it's not even funny, and I think it's truly a sign of the times. Um, We don't find a lot of true students of the Bible anymore, and it's really unfortunate. I think we can put a lot of the blame um, for the seminaries that are... Uh, teaching upcoming pastors and just simply people that uh, check their mind at the door when they watch videos and don't really compare it with scripture Um, I know it seems I'm being kind of negative but it is something that is very important when we deviate from God's message altogether it becomes a huge problem